Hello. Welcome to Technical Founders. My name is Carlos Lara, software engineer and entrepreneur. And in this video, we will continue building on the app that we were making in the last video, which was C Sharp syntax and variables with Xamarin Forms. So in that video, we came to this app. We just have a simple label object displaying a text, hello universe from Technical Founders, and a button that says click me. And for the moment, that button doesn't do anything. So the first thing we will do is add an event to that button so that when you click it, something happens. And then upon clicking it, clicking it, we will evaluate a condition. So for example, so here we go to the code. And in the last video, I had de declared these variables, the label, test label, test button inside the page constructor. However, because I want to, for this video, I want to use those, I want to reference the label and the button outside of this constructor, I need to put them at the class level here so I can actually have access to them outside of this constructor method for the page. But it's the same thing. I just declare them outside and I just simply initialize them here. So the label is the same. Here, new label, the text is this, everything is still, is still the same. I just moved these pieces of code out here so I can reference them outside. So the very first thing that we need to do is here in the, we, we come here to the button and as we saw in the previous video, when you click, when you have the name, the identifier for the object, and let's click the button and you do a dot, it brings up the methods, properties, and events. So M is method, P property, E is event. So here we want the clicked event, and you see it has an E, it's an event, and it says occurs when the button is clicked. So you double click that, and then you use the plus and equals operators here to assign an event handler to the clicked event of the button. So this plus equals uh, these operators are just how we assign a method here. And then if you do a space, there are several options that Visual Studio brings up. And this is a template here, creates a new method. So we, we will go ahead and do that. And then Visual Studio asks you, where would you like that method? We will just put it, we'll just put it right here. Let's just actually close this for the moment. Okay, this, these are just comments. Uh, so we have test button clicked, and I don't like that name. That doesn't follow the best conventions. Naming convention says that the name has to be very relevant or as relevant as possible to what it's doing. Well, to keep it simple, we'll just right click, refactor, and we'll rename it. And we'll just simply call it on button clicked. Very simple for this case, just on button clicked. And as you can see, it updates wherever that is um, wherever it's named. So we have assigned to the clicked event of the button an event handler, which we call it on button clicked. And this event handler is a method. So we have on button clicked here. And what we want to do is have a conditional statement. We want to evaluate a condition so that when you click a button, we'll check a condition, check a, the value of a variable and do something based on what is the value. So the simplest conditional statement in C-sharp, the one that we're going to look at today, is called an if-else statement. So if, we just try, type if, and you click tab twice, and it's going to bring up this, this snippet here. It says if, and then parentheses, and this is true inside. True is a, uh, so whatever you put in here, inside these parentheses, if, that is true, do something to do, for example. So some you will do something else, and then you, you write else, and else you will do something else. So if it's true, you do something. If it's not true, you do something else. So in this case, what we want to evaluate is the text here the of, of this label, what it actually says. So right now it's hello universe from technical founders. And we have it right here in a string variable called hello. And we will add another string that I actually already wrote here, which is called learning. Just simple names for now. And this, this one says, we are learning mobile development with C Sharp. And I want to check which one which one it is. So right now it's hello because that's the one that, that, it, that it's assigned. So here, here we want to check. So if test label, here's our object dot get the text property so that if the text property of this label is so here we don't use one equals this is when you're assigning 
uh, a value for a variable or a property, et cetera. But if you're evaluating a condition right here where the value is going to be true or false, he, uh, here we use the double. And this is kind of an example of polymorphism where the equals operator does more than one thing. So here it does one thing, an assignment, and here is going to do another thing, which is going to compare the two sides, uh, whether, whether, they're, whether they're equal. So we have the text. So if the text is, is hello, for example, we want to do something. So we want to do is display uh, like a notification. We call it uh, an alert. So display alert, it's, it's a, the M here, it means it's a method. So display alert. And then this method takes in three parameters here, three string parameters. So the title is going to be like a box, like a little notification box. So we want the title. So we just call it something simple, button clicked, just a simple title for it. And then for the message, we want to say the text of the, la of the label, and I'm capitalizing it because it's an, it's an object, it's an instance of the label class. The text of the label is, leave a space, and then we will use the operator, the plus operator. Again, another example of polymorphism. Here it does one thing, which is help assign this event handler to the to the event, to the clicked event. And here it's going to be used to put, put two strings together. We call it to concatenate two strings together. So we have the text of the label is, and then we are going to say test label dot text. And we know that this is a, a, a string, that this text is a, is a string property here. So these, these are matching. So you're just putting two strings together. Okay, and then just what just we'll just put okay here. It's, it's really it's a button where you click okay and that notification to dismiss it to say okay, I've read what it says. And after this, we want to actually flip the value of the label. So here the label says hello from technical founders. So we want to now after after we check this condition. So if it is that then we will say test label dot text again, and then we are going to assign the value learning here. So learning is a string. It says we are learning mobile development with C sharp, and we will assign learning. And always, always close your statements with a semicolon here. So it used to be hello universe from technical founders, and when we click the button, it's going to flip. It's going to change change to that. And just to make sure that this display alert method executes first and finishes executing before we go on to the next line, we will actually add a keyword called await. So we will we are going to await for the display alert method to finish before we assign we reassign the text property here of the label and it's complaining because we need um, another keyword here in the method itself. So when you have an, a, a method that, that, that is awaited here, we need another keyword, which is called async here in the method. So async means it's an asynchronous method. And we will get into async and await keywords, very important in C Sharp. But we'll get into that in later videos. Right now it's just to let this method finish executing before we move on. Okay, so we have that. And then we have the else. So we have if the label is hello, we will do this and then else, so if it's not hello, which the only option here is if it's if it's learning, we are going to display alert and we are going to do the same thing. We're going to display an alert. So button clicked, the text of label is, and then same thing, test label dot text. Okay, so we're putting these, these together and then, okay, close it with a semicolon. And then we're going to flip it again. So test label dot, oops, dot text. And we're going to assign hello. Okay, so we have our event ready. And now let's go ahead and check. Let's, uh, let's actually stop running this and execute it again. And let's see what we get. So we have, as we expect, hello universe from technical founders because that's what we assigned in the constructor here method. So when the page is initialized, the label is just hello, which is this. And then when we click, we get an alert. This is a display alert. And then it says the title button clicked the first parameter. 
and then the text, it says the text of the label is, and then we use the, the plus operator to add another string to it to, and this one is hello universe from technical founder. So whatever the the text of the label is right now, that's what it displays here. So that so that's what it is. Pretty simple. You click OK. And after you click OK, you see how the, the, the text changed. Now we have we are learning mobile development with C sharp. Pretty cool. So here in our in our event, so we checked if it's hello, if the if the test label of the label dot text property is hello, and hello is hello uniform from technical founders, then we'll display this alert. And then the the that property is going to change to learning. So it was hello, now it's learning. So that's that's what that is doing. And that's this is we are learning mobile development with C sharp. So we go back to the app, and if we click it again, the button click, the text of the label is we are learning mobile development with C sharp. So now the test this can this if condition evaluated to false. So this is not hello, therefore it goes into the else part of the statement here. And it shows the appropriate one, which we are learning mobile development with C sharp. And once you click OK, it's going to flip it back to hello, as, as it says here. It's going to continue that logic. Click OK, boom, it goes back. Very cool. We can keep doing this, and it keeps flipping back and forth. So there, there you go. This is an example, a very simple example of using if and else conditional statements to evaluate whether a condition is true or false, and based on that, on that, perform some some lo some logic here. So thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, any thoughts, any comments, please leave them at the bottom. Also, please subscribe so you're the first to be notified. And um, I'll see you next time.